Okay, we're hitting back and triceps today. And you know, our last workout um, for back, I was kind of, I guess, already noticing that my growth in my my back, like strength wise, isn't going up dramatically compared to all the other muscles and stuff. But I have to also consider that we usually do deadlifts the day before. We usually do, you know, RDLs because we have hamstrings and glutes. And I have to take into account that my back will be fatigued from that. You know, not saying that's my back movement, but you, you know, your back is going to be fatigued from doing RDLs. Um, I, I personally like doing that for my glutes and hamstrings, but, um, you know, I guess I'm saying like, we got to take those things into account of like, well, what did you do before that might, you know, fatigue that muscle the next day? And if you're okay with that. So for me, I feel like I'm okay with that because my lower body is my focus, you know, during this bulk right now, I really want that to like, I don't know. I just feel like it's lacking compared to my upper body especially when we cut, like, I feel like I wanted to hold that size. So, so right now, like, that's why I'm like, I'm okay with, uh, that. But then sometimes, you know, that's why I'm like, sometimes you still even have to like rearrange some things. Cause I'm like, well, what if I did, what if I did back day after, you know, quads, you know, and oh no, no. See, now I answered my own question. The reason why I did that, because I don't want my back to be fatigued if I do do all your deals. So that's why I did do that because like I said, my lower body is my focus. But since we're doing the hyperextension machine or at least I want to continue with that, my back isn't going to be as fatigued because we're not going to have to carry that big of a load because I will still, because of the angle that is, we won't need that much weight for it to be hard, you know? So I'm going to see, I'm going to talk to someone maybe after the workout and see if a they can move that because like I told you guys, I want to try with a barbell. I, you can only go so far with dumbbells like, you know, and so it's just like, you know, the barbell would be ideal because I want to continue doing that one. And I know someone also said that they do prefer that instead of RDLs just for many reasons. And like, yeah, I'm just like, nah, like I agree. I think, uh, you know, that would be perfect. So, so since we didn't do RDLs the other day, yesterday, um, I don't, my back isn't as fatigued. So I'm hoping, you know, we'll great to get a great back workout today um but you know I guess I'm just bringing that up to uh you know if if you are focusing on something make sure you're prioritizing that muscle group and then you know making it like know that it's fresh and all that stuff because like I said even if you're not hitting that muscle it will be fatigued you know going in when you work out the next day if that makes sense just something to think about um so that's why I arrange mine to my goals. And that's why, you know, everyone has different goals. And some people have no problem building a lower body and they actually need their upper body to be, you know, of more of a focus. So, so then, you know, address it in that way. But um, that's why mine's like this right now. And that's why, you know, that's why I always say like, um, my workout routine may change because my goals may change. And I think that's the nice part with, um, you know, doing a bulk and then doing a cut because you don't realize actually where you carry a lot of your fat. <laughs> and then when you do your cut, you're just like, oh, okay, so that wasn't, you know, the muscle. It was, you know, more of where I carry my fat or, you know, some. it's just more of like, it's, it's interesting to see, you know, because, yeah, you don't you don't see truly, like you start chiseling down your body and then you're kind of like, okay, you're seeing what you're working with. And that's why I'm telling you guys, like, I know I carry more of my fat on my lower body and my arms. So I think that's why I would be like, I don't want to work on my arms. They're just going to get like bigger, but not, not really thinking, you know, just silly thoughts because it's just like, no, well, you're, if you have muscle, it'll look more compact and like solid, not like a blah, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, you know, muscle is always going to look nicer. So, um, that's why I'm telling you guys, like, I feel like we're barely really working out arms. Like, you know, I don't feel like I really gave my arms the full attention it needed. And, you know, same with legs, because I, I've never felt like I really, truly, you know, or I guess you can say really were able to work out my legs to their potential because I, nothing felt comfortable. I didn't feel secure in the movements I was doing. And, and that's why I say too, find the movements, you know, you can get better at you know, and work what you're wanting to work, you know, so, um, you know, I can go in more detail, but I think that's just like the gist of it. 
and and that's why I'm just like okay um I feel like we're we're at a solid routine for like the goals that I want to reach and I'm excited for that I'm excited to do that and like I, I think someone asked me if I'm going to still do the same workouts on my cut and I will I will do the same you know workout um, I think when it would change is if we do when we do the bulk again to see where I really want to focus on and um, it might be the same things but you know I won't know until that comes so so yeah that's a uh, just a little bit of my thoughts today and yeah maybe something for you guys to think about too but like yeah let's just uh go in there and uh get a good you know workout in and yeah i'm excited let's let's just go in <laughs> okay you guys already know i like starting with the lat pull downs and um i'll try to do different angles because i think someone mentioned like how I guess they used to do pull downs like like just up upright and then they barely started going like that and so one thing that I keep in mind is so whenever you're doing any movement you know making sure that are you feeling that muscle you do you feel it and that's why I say too in, in the beginning when you're still learning or even sometimes just to like make sure do the movement slow that's fine you know but also remember can you also can you flex that muscle do you know how to flex it um you know, so anyways, I guess I'm saying is when we're doing back, if I'm, if I'm right here, I guess pulling down, you know, I feel it more when I'm like, you know, when we're doing the movement. Um, I mean, as simple as that. So, so that's why I do lean a little back. Not because, not because I, I know, oh, that's how you do the movement, because I feel it better. So, so yeah, I don't know. Because um, I guess for me, I do go off a lot of like the feel because that's also the fun part for me. And I think that's why I always say too, like the feel for working out is it's, I don't know. It's just, it's just a cool feeling. And that's what I like focusing on. But also, yeah, there's little cues that can help if you don't feel it, you know, in the beginning. Um, but hopefully that makes sense. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and do the first set. So if you guys remember last back day, um, we did some pull-ups. I'm kind of wanting to do them again, but I don't know. Um, these feel good too, but something about pull-ups. Um, yeah, I don't know. They feel, feel nice. And it's, does anyone else also question how are you able to pull more doing pull-ups than pull-downs, you know? <laughs> Cause it's like, we got 145 and um, when we do pull-ups, I'm, you know, where you're pulling your weight and that's like, that's 180. So it's like, that's interesting. But um, I don't know. Anyways, we might do it, we might not. But I'll go ahead and do another set of these. So, um, if you've been lifting for a while and uh, you haven't tried using straps, not saying they're necessary, not at all, but you know, if, uh, if you do have them, go ahead and try them for some things like, you know, for back days. I don't know. I, I like using them. You guys already know for multiple reasons. And, uh, you know, I don't want you guys to lose out on extra, extra gains you can be getting, getting stronger. So try them if you do. And remember, like, if there's a big old strap, just wrap it around once. You don't need to be doing five wraps and all that stuff. I used to, in the beginning, just wrap it all the way around to the very tip and then and then go. And that would literally take more than the lift, like longer than the lift. You know, just little things like that. And then I realized, oh, wait a second, I don't need to do that. Because also, when you're using these, you're still gripping. You're not literally letting this do all the work. You know, you better still be gripping. 
But um, yeah, so I don't know, just something to try out if you have it. Um, the reasons why I like it, you can carry more weight. And also if your hands get sweaty, you know, this helps. Yeah, that's pretty much good, good enough reasons for me. Okay, let's go ahead and do this set. I guess, I guess you guys will see if we do like a two sets of pull-ups. If not, you know, we'll do one more on here. So, guess we'll see what I decide. Okay, so I wanted to try something a little different. We're gonna add 10 pounds and see how that goes. My back's feeling really good. I mean, for one thing, don't, don't ever start your back day with pull-ups because uh, that's already weighted. You need to work up to it. At least, at least for me, one time I uh, hurt myself because I didn't do that. Um, or I went straight into pull-ups. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Man, hands getting slippery. Someone said something about liquid chalk and that that doesn't actually leave residue or something. I don't know, maybe something to think about. Only be only using it for some things. Just because it gets annoying when you're just slipping, you know? So, what was that? Five, six reps? That's good. And I think, you know what? I'll just do that one side with that weight. And then we'll do just body weight. Because... You know, I don't know, just don't want to overdo it. Like if my body, you know, did that for one set, that's still a PR. And then maybe, maybe we'll try for two sets next time. But I don't know, something about pull-ups always feels nice. So, you know, and I think I was reminded about that the other day because it's just, I don't know, it's just a different feeling. I mean, it's the same kind of movement, but I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just fun. You know, and it's always good to throw that in there in your workouts. Have fun. If you like a lift and it's fun for you, then, uh, you know, do it. So, we'll do one more set body weight. And when you're doing pull-ups, check. Um, make sure you know, like, if the grip's comfortable for you. Because that will, you know, make a difference. If the bar's, you know, too thick or whatever. Like, you won't be able to do as much pull-ups. And it's not because you can, just because like your grip on it is like uncomfortable. Because when I first started doing pull-ups, it was actually with these, because these feel really comfortable for me. But I think over time, I don't necessarily exactly um, prefer these. I, as in, I wish they were just a little further apart. Because think about it, like they're set. You can't really adjust it to exactly what you like. Because I don't know if you notice when I'm doing it, my arms do kind of come out like that, and um, I want them to be like like that. But you know, it's just a slight little thing. It's not gonna, I'm not gonna be, it's not gonna do anything crazy. But just those little things, like I would prefer. But since this grip is so comfortable, I I always like come back to this one. Um, but there are like bars out here that I, I have tried before too, and, and they're fine too. Um, but I don't know. This one's always more comfortable, also because you know my hands get slippery. This, since it has a texture, it's not as bad. Okay. Um, I was just checking. Don't want uh, the otter to be always cut off, saying a big little monologue. But, uh, okay, we'll go ahead and do the, the body weight ones. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe I'll look into that liquid chalk. But um, yeah, I guess also just to come back on that, when I first tried doing pull-ups, I did them assisted and it was with a really thick bar. So I would be like, man, these are so hard. And because I didn't even have a good grip on it, you know? Um, and it's funny because I think some people don't really like consider that. Like, if you can't get a good grip on it, how do you expect to like pull yourself up? So, I don't know, just something, something to think about when you're doing pull-ups and if you're trying to do them, maybe you can do them. I surprised myself because I was just like, oh wow, I can actually do a few pull-ups and it was just because my grip was, it didn't like feel comfortable, so. So one of you were recommending like a T-bar row and stuff and because, you know, I can have like my body against it and pull more weight. And I absolutely agree with you, but we don't have the machine. And I wish we did, because that one's honestly a really nice one. But you know, if uh, you don't have certain machines, just pick the one you feel, like I said, you can progress in and you enjoy and you feel the best in. Um, I don't know, I've always, I've always liked these. Uh, just, they just feel, Great. Um, we do have other machines, but I don't know, always tend to like, come back to this one. And uh, yeah, you just, like I said, I feel like this one's just always gonna be a staple. Unless maybe one day I we have that machine or something, I'll have to try it because it's been years since I've even tried it. But one time I did and it, no, it's really nice. <laughs> Ooh, those feel nice because like I said whenever I'm doing any movement I like the feel of it is what really I'm thinking about going through the motion and so when we're doing these you know how your lats you know are right here it's like I literally feel them I don't know it's just it's a it's a crazy feeling and then you just squeeze and it's all, it's like powerful and stable. And uh, that's what I was telling you guys too, um, the negatives, you know, you're not just like dropping the weight, you know, then, then that's good because I feel like people are so like intense with like, oh, make sure you're holding it for two seconds. And then, you know, just like super, I guess, slow and controlled and all that stuff. But yeah, control the weight as in like, don't just drop it. You know, like don't let it swing or whatever take you or you guys already know, but yeah, because that that feeling that one's like that's a great feeling, you know, and don't lose out on that. So we'll go ahead and do uh what's it two more and uh yeah. I know people like using their elbows as a nice cue for when they're doing back and and, you know, I absolutely agree with that, but also take into account, you know, I think one thing that really helped me is like my chest because, hey, when you're working out back, your back's going to get pumped. You're going to be like this, or at least, you know, it's going to feel that way. So like, always remember when you're doing that set, that your, your chest is upright, because then you're going to get that nice squeeze. You're not going to get that squeeze if your chest is like this. And that's like one thing I always like keep in account too. And that's why I say like it go by the feeling because the feeling you get when you're like that is amazing. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind, especially with these, your chest is upright too. It's not, not gonna be curved in, but you know, I don't know, just uh, see where your uh, posture is when you're doing that lift. 
Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and uh, go and do the set. Yeah, those felt good. We'll do uh, the high rows next. Okay, so we have two sets on here. Hold on. Got to make sure the mic's connected. We got two sets on here, and then we're going to do two set, um, sets of seated dip, and then two sets of the, gosh, I don't know what it's called, but you guys know the one that we just included recently that I'm liking, but, you know, we're just putting it towards the end because you have to really stabilize your whole body. And, you know, we're just 
our, our muscles and our triceps are going to be more fatigued. So that's why we're like, we'll save it for the end. So we won't need to put as much weight to really, you know, kill them. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and do the set for the triceps. Always uh, keep in mind to use the weaker side first when you're doing single, you know, arms or legs or whatever it is. But uh, yeah, they feel good. Um, I'll probably just meet you guys at the dips. Okay, so I would have liked to do the dips, but it's taken, so we're just gonna do these. And um, I have one more set, I did already a set. And it uh, looks like the dips are opening up now. So we'll do that right after. Um, it's not as bad as what it was last time, I guess. <laughs> Maybe just figuring out how to, I guess, leverage my body so I'm not really like competing <laughs> with the balancing, you know. I mean, if you know this uh, machine, you know what I mean? Because I know people uh, also said that, yeah, they're getting like an ab workout when they're doing this. But anyways, let's go ahead and do the last set. <laughs> Actually, we are getting stronger in this. Ah, uh, well, we did, we usually do this last, so I can't, maybe, uh, you know, I have to <laughs> consider that too. But um, I guess I'm saying it doesn't feel as crazy as uh, when we first did this and I was really trying to stabilize myself. But anyways, let's go ahead and finish off with dips. Okay, this is uh, the last set, and then we'll do some posing. Ooh, I uh, remembered one more back pose that I wasn't doing, so hopefully I do that one, like, correctly. Obviously, I'm still getting hang of it and not all, you know, graceful when I'm doing the posing, but I need to get that down, because when we do the cut, it'll be fun just to, like, mess around the posing, not have to overthink that. Okay, last set. Those uh, those felt better. I don't know. I'm uh, when I'm doing them, I'm not. You know, I already told you guys. I'm not like my triceps. That's always been something that uh hasn't clicked for me for some reason. So uh, when I'm doing the dips, or at least when I was doing that set, I don't know, I guess also think, because you're gonna be indirectly, your chest is gonna be working too. So I think me thinking when I'm coming up, like my chest like has that nice stretch and then comes down. I don't know, I guess also considering like my chest has a play in this. So it's like, 
using that and feeling that with it and then pressing down. Man, you know, the way I say it doesn't make any sense, but uh, it feels better. Um, so that's what I'm saying. These little cues people use, like it can be different for everybody. Do what works for you. Um, I guess I guess I'm seeing that. I use for back day, I take a account of my chest a lot for some reason. Well, I mean, it's it works hand in hand. I mean, when you're doing chest movements, your back, you know, is also activated in its own way. You know, we're not working out back, but it is being used. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that made sense. Well, I mean, we are using chest because we're doing triceps. Triceps is going to be, or at least for dips. The other ones, not so much. But yeah, those felt nice. I guess that's the whole thing of that, was those felt really good. Okay, let's go uh, check out, do some posing. Okay, so, you know, I like doing a little bit of posing with the compression shirt. So we'll do the tricep. Oh, great. Why is it doing that? Okay, hopefully that's the only time it does that. Hopefully it wasn't like that for the rest of the video. Okay, and then, oh yeah, we'll do like fillet, that pose. Okay, calm down camera. And I'm all paranoid if the camera's like not even focusing. Okay. Now we'll just do with the tank top on. I'm gonna give you guys a headache. But I like doing this one just to like see the rear delt. Okay. Because you know, we want that to be round. We don't want that to like sink in. Okay. Just kind of uh, frustrated with the, the blurriness. Oh yeah, I want to try this one. Um, I'll have to double check and see if I even did the lat spread right. I don't know, sometimes I feel like my elbows are too far or, you know, it's the elbows. And then I want to try this one. Okay, I don't know if we did that one right or if it even came out clear, but uh, I'll go ahead and check that. And yeah, I think, I think that's all the posing. I added one more thing, so. So I would say that was a solid back day and triceps. I mean, um, more on back than triceps. I feel like, yeah, but anyways, I already had my eye on some machines I want to try for next back day that I think will be, you know, fun to try. And who knows, maybe those will be the ones I'll do. And, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's just always nice to, uh, try something out and then you never know so you guys already know I've been staying with the cables for a while I like them I do um but I mean you know you guys have a good point I could probably progress better if I had more stability you know more that I can like push against and you know do the movement so 
since we don't have that with any of the lifts, I, I want to do some machines that do have that and then see how I like it. Um, because, you know, that's not, that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, but, you know, I already told you guys, I just, I just love those movements and they've just been a staple and yeah, I mean, it's been working. It's been working for me for, for my back. Um, but I think it's important because I feel like, well, what has helped me is that, you know, just knowing how to move and, you know, do the lift correctly is what I feel like is the super, like most important thing, you know, like you don't, I guess I'm saying you don't need to do the fanciest lifts or use the fancy machine, use them movement or machine and the movements that you're going to get stronger in and feel good in and yeah so that's kind of like always what i keep in mind but uh other than that i think uh i think we uh yeah it was a good day and i'm gonna rest for two days and the next day is gonna be quads um i might actually wear shorts for for leg day because i usually do but i told you guys it's been freezing and i don't i like being cold so uh, we might wear shorts because I do like wearing shorts when we're doing legs and stuff. It's it's fun to see the muscle and, you know, well, we are heavier, so I don't know how that will look, but uh, it's okay. It I don't know. Honestly, I've gotten used to, I guess, this weight or, you know, how I've been looking and I didn't think I would, but I have because, I don't know, the workouts have just been so good and, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just haven't, it hasn't actually been a passing thought as much as how it was in the beginning and also maybe because yeah I'm just wearing clothes that fit me better as well um so it's just like always those little things that remind you of something and you're just like oh yeah I'm heavier because this doesn't fit me and you know all that stuff but uh but yeah it hasn't been such a I guess you know you guys already know you guys would hear me I, I mean even when we would do posing I would like comment on something I'm like mm. You know, but I, I don't know. I just uh, have it and who knows, it maybe comes in waves. Maybe there are moments where I'm like, fine. And then, and then the next I'm just like, wow, like what's going on? Like, why do I look like this? Or, you know, I don't know. Maybe because I'm also like, feel like the cut's gonna come so fast. So I'm just like, let me just enjoy this. And, um, you know, I just feel like, yeah, just being in the moment. Cause you know, when the cut comes, we won't be able to enjoy the, the calories that we're having right now. And, um, yeah, I'm just, just been, it's been feeling good. So, so that's, that's good. I, I, I'm glad, I'm glad it's been feeling good for me. Cause I, yeah, I don't like being in the other headspace, but, um, oh, I wanted to bring up if, you know, people that also like anime, if you guys haven't watched solo leveling, you guys should watch that one. That one's really good. I think it's, uh, pretty fun because, you know, kind of reminds you of, if you want to get somewhere you're gonna to have to put some work in and kind of also realizing like if you don't put any work in like why are you surprised where you're at you know like I don't want to give too much away but um let me see how could I uh talk about this without giving too much away mm. Well, see, I mean, because I have some, some people that are very sensitive when it comes to spoilers, so I, I'm just better off being like, oh, you should watch it, because I don't want to give anything away. So uh, I'm trying to, like, see how I can go about that. But, um, you know, it's just, it's, a, I guess, like an underdog, for sure, like, kind of story. And, um, you know, those are always fun to watch, because kind of like you know when you're barely starting to lift and you feel like man like am I ever going to reach my goals am I ever going to get where I want to get um you know I'm realizing that it does take time it does but if you don't start like it's never going to happen so you know you have to start somewhere and each time you're going to get better and better and you start you're going to start seeing results and then you're going to start you know feeling better and then realizing like you're capable of more than you thought and it's just so fun watching that kind of you know stuff and it just kind of makes you relate to it because we, we've all been there you know that's why I'm saying too like we all have to start somewhere like there's not it's not going to be like a fast journey and you know even even now I mean I'm still not where I want to be but I know every time you know we're putting the work in and getting better like that's all you can do and and that's why like, you should have fun with it you should have fun you should believe in yourself you should uh you know, make sure you're putting the time into what you want. Stop, you know, feeling like bad saying these things 
and then also not, you know, following through with them. Find the things that you want and then start putting action into it. And, um, you know, just just be happy that you're doing that. I know we had, I touched about that last time about like, you know, maybe making a list maybe and, and uh, just following through what you have in mind because we let our emotions probably take over and it stops us from what we want to do. So don't even let that be the factor of what stops you, you know, because our emotions are very strong and you can use them, you know, for your benefit or actually work against you. So use them for you and yeah, trust me, you're going to see some crazy stuff because I don't know, like, yeah, if, if it's like, why not you, you know, you see these people that inspire you, why not you? So anyways, I will see you guys for leg day and, um, yeah, it'll, it'll be a good one, a scary one, but a good one. I mean, there only can get better. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.